Okay, I want to use the seafoam green today. I had to turn my other camera on, y'all. Okay, this is gonna be the one of the colors that I'm gonna use. And then I might go ahead and use this one, bittersweet. I might just put that all over the lid, okay? I might put that all over the lid. And then we're gonna use some pressed shadows. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eye, you guys. I'm gonna prime my eye with the Mood Strip Eye Primer, okay? There we go. Now, I also used it all over my face today um, as a primer just because it is super hot outside. And we don't want our makeup melting off, okay? So here we go. And we're just gonna put that eye primer on. Make sure it's nice and dry. We want it to be dry for sure. Okay. Do this eye. Hey Alexis, you guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know that you're here. Um, and please go ahead and give me a share. Just the more shares we get, the more ladies that hop on. Okay, so just priming this eye, almost done. And then I'm gonna start out with Bittersweet, okay? And Bittersweet is just like that matte, like pink color, okay? And I'm gonna use that just to really brighten my eyes, okay? So I'm gonna let that eye primer dry really quick. And I've also noticed like when the eye primer gets on my eyelashes, it kind of like stiffens them up, which can be actually a good thing. So um, from like, cause it stiffens them up and you like use your thing to like push them up. It'll make them like longer when you put your mascara on okay so i'm just combing them out because the eye primer did get in them okay there we go hey faith you guys once you hop on please say hi let me know where you're watching from um and please give me a share if you want to okay just the more shares we get the more ladies that hop on let me spray this cream shadow brush down okay I'm looking really white up there. I might need to tone it down a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better, I think. Hey, Faith. Okay, so I'm taking my cream shadow brush, y'all, and I just sprayed some water on it to kind of like wipe it off, literally. Just need to wipe it off. Okay, and I'm gonna take the color Bittersweet in this cream shadow. You're from Spira. Well, okay, I just moved from Pecola. Faith, um, I, I mean, I really don't know that if you know me, you might know me. I don't know, but I just moved from Pecola, so I was close to Spyro. But here we go. Here is a cream shadow and bittersweet. Hi, Candace. How are you? Okay, and it's just like a matte, like pink color, okay? And so I'm going to use this color first, and you don't want to dip in the cream shadows, y'all. You just want to like, like, I don't know what you would call it, like pet it. You want to pet it. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna like put it all over my lid, okay? And it is just a nice, um, like a really light pink and it, it just brightens your eye really well, okay? It just makes it super bright um, for like, you know, other shadows that you put on top of there, it's gonna make it super bright, okay? And we're gonna use Seafoam Green, but also, the Seafoam Green is a cream shadow, but we're also going to use my pressed shadows to go with it as well, okay? And I'm going to do this other side. And guys, make sure that your eye primer is dry. If it's not dry, it will look kind of cakey looking, to be honest. Okay, and you see how that really brightened those eyelids? Add a little bit more. Probably don't have to, don't need to, but I just want to, okay? I just want to. Okay, so there's that. See how bright that made those? That's just that cream shadow. So, hey, Crystal. <laughs> I was kind of confused at first. I was like, dude, what, girl? 
Y'all, I think I got hacked. Well, no, I did get hacked. But, um, so when I saw that, I was like, oh, no. Who's, who's hacking me? Who's here? But I changed my password and all that, y'all, so I'm hoping that we're good. I'm hoping that we're good. Okay, so bittersweet all over the lid, okay? And I'm just taking this little brush and just kind of like patting down the crease, okay? You don't have to do that. I just kind of think it looks a little bit better if you do. Kind of like blending it out, but you don't really need to blend it out too much, okay? So just like that. Then, you guys. So here we go. This is the color that I'm gonna use like on my inner corner. That's that seafoam green, okay? Here it is. Let me put it on my finger. I think y'all could see it better on the finger. Yeah, there it is. Hi, Braylon. There is that seafoam green. So I'm gonna put that like in my inner corner, but y'all, I need another color to put with it. Okay, so I'm thinking, or what are y'all thinking? I mean, I think that would look gorgeous with it. Um, but what do y'all think? Hi, Sherry. What do y'all think would look good? Hey, Kelsey. I'm gonna use this color on my like inner corner, but I need another color to go with it. What do y'all think? How about I do a transition color first and then we'll uh, decide. We'll decide. Y'all decide while I'm doing my transition color. What color would go with that seafoam green? Cream shadow, okay? You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know that you're here. Um, and if you want to, please give me a share, you guys. Just the more shares we get, the more ladies that we get hop on, okay? Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Karsten. Green, 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 green. Karsten, is that how you say your name? Karsten. Y'all, if I don't say your name right, just let me know, okay? Um, and you guys, once you have shared, just drop a fire emoji once you have shared, okay? How about the orange? See, the orange would look good too. See, I don't know. That's why I'm like, oh. Seafoam green. What goes with this, y'all? When y'all are saying green, are you saying like um, inconceivable, this green right here? That's inconceivable right there. Now we can do that. We can do that. Now here's the tricky part. We gotta figure out a lip to match it. What kind of lip is gonna match this green, okay? Now, the girl's got a few colors to pick from, but I don't have, you know. We'll decide that in a minute. We'll decide that in a minute. Okay, so let's do, um, hell, we could get, we could get, uh, like, all creative with this if we wanted to. So, let's just start. Let's just, let's just see where this takes us. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm going to start out with this color right here for my transition color, okay? Now, can I tell you what that color is? Yeah, I can. Gingerly. That's gingerly, y'all. Here's my little cheat sheet right here. I still got to have this because y'all, you know, I'm not good with remembering things. But I'm going to start out with this color right here. That's gingerly, okay? And I'm going to put that in my crease, okay? That's just going to be like my transition color. Okay, here we go. And it, it's a really gorgeous color. This is gingerly. Okay. You see how gorgeous? Put the green on top of the orange. Like, are you saying maybe do the orange like all over my lid and then do like the seafoam green over that? Is that what you're saying, Sherry? I mean, I'm down with anything, y'all. Okay, so there's gingerly. I love that color. Hey, Katie. Gingerly is like... Oh, 
So pretty. Okay, so there it is. Let's do the other eye, and then I will, um, I'm going to blend it, of course, y'all. I'm going to blend it. Don't worry. Hi, Emily. You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from, and if you want to, go ahead and give me a share. Just the more shares we get, the more ladies that hop on, okay? Okay, gingerly. Gingerly. Y'all, I'm so happy I got that color. Gingerly, right there. That's what it is. Um, I think like anybody could wear this color and it will make any color I pop li literally because it's like a brown, but it's also like a gingerly brown, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a toasted, I don't know. Okay, so there we go. I bought that transition color. So I'm going to blend that a little bit, y'all. I'm just gonna blend there a little bit gingerly. And then I think I'm gonna do what Sherry said and do Lively. The orange is called Lively, okay? Um, I think I will do Lively all over the lid and then we can put that seafoam green all over that. And so like, it's not gonna be like super, super bright. I think it'll be like a nice like glaze shimmer over the orange. You know what I mean? I'm thinking that's what it might be like. I might be wrong. But we're going to hope it turns out pretty, okay? But I think it will. Okay, so just keep on blending. You guys, um, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. Send a comment. What is everybody up to today? Today's Monday. Yeah, today's Monday. I had a super busy weekend, y'all. I had my kid's birthday party. Well, it was yesterday. Um, I had family in like all week. And now it's kind of lonely. It's a little lonely, y'all. Um, Most of the time I like to be alone. Well, you know, besides my kids, my kids are here. Um, but like for the most part, I like to be alone. <laughs> but now that everybody's gone, it's just really weird. Okay, so here we go. There's ginger, or yeah, there's gingerly. Let's do lively. Let's do that orange. Okay. If I don't stick my fingers in all of them. Okay, so there's that orange. This is called Lively. And it's gorgeous, okay? There it is on my finger. Well, it's got a little black in it too. But that's Lively, okay? It's like a pumpkin orange. Okay, what am I going to use to do that? Let's use... Where's my brow brush? Okay. So I'm gonna use this shader brush right here and I'm gonna wipe it off. Now, you guys, I do wanna let you know that these, all the pressed shadows, these are pressed shadows. Any of these little circle ones, these are pressed shadows, okay? And they are primer infused, okay? So you don't necessarily have to use like a primer with them because they are primer, primer infused, but you know, if you do use the primer with them, even better okay so look at this orange this is lively um and i know why they named it lively because when i put it on my eye it just makes me feel really lively it just brightens me right on up y'all you see that brightens mama right on up I think that is awesome color. And that's why I wanted to get, like, I just got this color in not that long ago. Because first of all, spring, or not spring, not spring. <laughs> What's coming? Fall's coming, y'all. Fall's coming. So I needed some orange in my life. But that is awesome. I love that. And it's super bright. Like I said, primer infused already. Okay. I even think, I don't know yet. 
I might use fanatical on with this as well. And fanatical is like a, it's like a coppery, orangey, like shimmer, okay? But I think I might go like under my eye with it and I think it might look real, or might be like right through here. We'll see, we'll see y'all, we'll see. Okay, so here's Lively. Now, I'm just kind of blending it. <laughs> Sorry, I look so weird. But I just got a text message that said we're having a, ba a baby shower. And I'm like, who? Who, who are you? Because I don't know. I didn't, I didn't recognize the phone number. <laughs> okay. So, Lively, there's Lively, okay? That's that bright pumpkin orange. And then we're gonna do that uh, cream shadow on the top of it, okay? Sherry had the idea of doing the cream shadow over the top of this orange, okay? Now, do I know what it's gonna look like? Heck no, I don't, but that's okay. Okay, so here we go. That was Gingerly that I used for my um, crease. Here's Lively. Here we go. There's Lively that I just put all over my lid. And I'm thinking about using this color right here. Hey, Shantae. I'm thinking about using this color right here. Um, it kind of goes with Lively. And I might use that to kind of like highlight a little bit. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So, I'm going to take that seafoam green, y'all. There it is. Okay. Now... Let's see what we can do with it. Let me find my cream shadow brush. I forget I gotta show this phone down here a little bit, y'all, sometimes. That's okay, I did my foundation and my brow, I did a foundation and I did a brow tutorial today, y'all. It'll be on my YouTube channel though. I didn't, I didn't do it with y'all today, but it will be on my YouTube channel, okay? You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, and please give me a share. Just the more shares we get, the more ladies that we get hop on. Um, and once you share, just drop a fire emoji, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's try this out. Let's just see what it does. Now, if I don't want to do... Now, here we go. Here's a different idea. Look at that. There's that one. Oh, let's just do the green. Let's just do the green. Let's just see what happens. Okay, see if I'm green. What... This is called Charming. I keep calling it Seafoam Green, but it's called Charming, y'all, okay? And here, here's my cream shadow brush, and I'm just gonna kinda like, you don't wanna dip in it, you just wanna kinda like, I call it petting it. I'm just petting it, okay? And that's what it looks like on the brush. Okay? That's what it looks like on the brush. Okay, and so I'm just going to, I am just going to like set it on top of that, okay? And kind of spread it out a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way over with it because I kind of think just like right there looks okay. Do we like that or not? I might have to add like some more orange for it to like really go, but add a little bit more color to it. That looks pretty cool though. Okay, so let's do this other side. Oh, I might need to add some more color to the other one. Okay, and so I'm just tapping it, pressing it in, okay? That is the big thing. You want to press it in, um, like tap it. You don't want to like, I don't know really what the word would be, but you don't want to like, I don't know. When I think of eyeshadows, I think of like really just like putting it on, but me, like everything that I use, I really just like tap it on my skin. Like I tap it on and press it in just like the um, 
foundation, okay? Just like the foundation. Okay. So that definitely drowned out that orange a lot. So that's okay. Add a little bit more of the charming of this right here. I mean, I can add a little bit more. I'm going to have to add a little bit more of the lively to like make it like pop. You know what I mean? I kind of think that the sea foam green and the orange kind of clashed a little bit, but it's okay. I'm just going to build it up because that's what you'll have to do is build it up, okay? But it, has, it really brightened this eye a lot. Okay. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Jessica. How are you guys? I think this side is good. I don't know. There we go. Hi, Tisha. Okay, so I'm going to add, you guys, a little bit more of that orange. Okay? I'm going to add a little bit more lively just to bring it back in this way. Okay? There we go. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna blend it just a little bit more. You guys, be thinking of what kind of lip we need to do. What kind of lip are we gonna have to do? So there's that. Let's take the blending brush and then we're just gonna like blend that out just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Do y'all like that? I love the orange personally and I didn't I did not think that like orange was gonna be my color I've never worn an orange jumpsuit so no I'm just kidding y'all I mean I really haven't but I really I just never really thought orange eyeshadow would be my thing but it looks really good. I love that. And that is the color Lively, okay? The orange is the color Lively. And then what I used right here in the crease is that Gingerly color, okay? And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more because that Gingerly, I love that color. Just to, okay? Just like that. So let me add a little bit more to the side. Y'all, eyeshadow is really just like, you may have plans for like one thing that you're going to do, but it might like change completely and that's okay. That is okay. Live your life. Okay, and there we go. It does look good. It does look really good. Um, I think the next time though that I use the sea foam green that I'm gonna use it like by itself so you can like really see the color. I think putting it on top of that orange really like um, drowned it out the green 
and it made it more i mean there's a little bit of the green but i think it made it more of uh like it looks more like whiter just real light color um so the next time that i do use the seafoam green i will you guys just use it like by itself just by itself but this looks super pretty like especially because you guys i don't ever do colors like this ever <laughs> you know i usually stick with like my pinks and stuff which there's nothing wrong with that but i think this looks super good what kind of lip do y'all think we should do what kind of lip I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to see what it does. Ooh, I think that helped a little bit. What color lip are we thinking, y'all? Okay. I just add a little bit more of that seafoam green just so I could see a little bit better. What color lip, you guys? And I'm just gonna press it down, okay? Just pressing that cream shadow down. Just like that. What color lip should we do, guys? Y'all, if you're here, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. And please go ahead and give me a share if you want to. Um, just the more shares we get, the more ladies that we get hop on, okay? Um, if you're wanting to see my brows or if you're wanting to see um, my foundation, I will have that video up on YouTube in a little while, okay? Sublime. Sublime, sublime. Um, I do have sublime. I do have sublime. My only thing with that is... I hate a nude lip, y'all. I hate a nude lip. And I don't know why, but we might do that. We might do that. Okay, so I wanna add some color to like right here, okay? Do you think that darker brown color will work? Uh, so, uh, okay, so I have, y'all, I have like, Somebody says plum. Spontaneous. Here's spontaneous. Would this look good? I have been wanting to use this color. Here's spontaneous. Let me put it on my hand for y'all. There's spontaneous. I haven't used that color yet. Um, I don't really want to use stoic today just because I've already used it. Even though y'all know I love a brown lip, but I might use that spontaneous. Spontaneous. You want to order stoic or spontaneous, Karsten? I do have stellar or not stellar. I have sublime, but like I said, I could do a nude lip, but I just like on me a nude lip. I don't know, y'all. Nude lips just don't. They don't like bring my spark out. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta have like a bright lip and then I'm like, mm, I'm feeling it. Now, if I got a nude lip, don't get me wrong, girls love, look awesome um, in nude lips, but I just, they look good on me, but when I take pictures, I, I just feel like, eh, eh, I should have done a pink or I should have done something brighter. You know what I mean? That's just me, y'all. I wish I wasn't like that, but it's, I don't know. So, are we thinking that spontaneous, that purple color? We can do that. We can do that. Now, I don't know what the heck. Yeah, I might line my lip in that color. I don't know what I line my lip in, but that one might work. Actually, I'll probably line it in that brown. I'll probably line it in a um, prim. Prim with that purple, okay? Okay, are we thinking, hi, Bronwyn, how are you, girlfriend? Let's do, oh, yeah. So, I got another press shadow in. I just actually got spontaneous in not that long ago. Um, I've, 
You don't even want to see the boxes I've got over here on the floor. It's a little awkward. Okay, but y'all, I got this new color in called Gentle. Let me find it right here. This is Gentle, and it is so pretty, okay? It's a great highlighting color. Look at it. Just look at it. That's Gentle, okay? It's just super bright and super shimmery, and I'm going to put that, like, in the corners of my eyes, okay? That's called Gentle. I've got, let me fold this backwards. And I'm gonna take my shader brush, if I can find her. Where are you? Oh, right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my liner shader brush, you guys. Hey guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, if you're new to watching me, Go ahead and give me a share if you want to. Just the more shares we get, the more ladies that hop on, okay? Um, and once you have shared, go ahead and drop a fire emoji just because y'all are fire, okay? Y'all are fire. I'm looking for my water. Here's my water. I'm going to get my brush wet, okay? Because I want that gentle. It already pops, but I want it to pop anymore. Oh, and I want to ask y'all about some. Do y'all know what these are? Do y'all know what these are? Have y'all heard of these? Okay, so I got the, and if y'all do, just let me know. So um, I got my brush wet, okay? And I'm gonna dip into Gentle, okay? And I'm just gonna pop that bad boy right there. Okay? Boom. Okay, now I personally like to bring mine up just a little bit, not nothing too crazy, but just a little. Thank you, Faye. Hey, Bella Boo. Hey, Bella Roo. Are you off today? Okay, gentle. My 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 favorite color. <laughs> Faye! Yeah, girl. They are hair ties. Y'all, these are hair ties, okay? I got one right here, too. So, when I first heard about these, I was like, hair ties? I'm, no. No. I ain't gonna wear that in my hair. Um, but let me tell you something. They stay. Like, it stayed in my hair all night when I was sleeping. And that, that is, um, if it stayed in my hair all night while I was sleeping, that is a good hair tie. All right, so just pulling that up just a little bit, okay? I pulled it, I put it right there in that corner, but I'm pull, pulling it up a little bit. Now, when I pull it up, I will take this little blending brush and just blend it slightly, okay? Barely nothing, y'all. Just kind of just tapping it on your skin, just sweeping the excess, excess off, okay? Just like that, okay? Now, I need a color for to highlight under my brow. And I think I'm gonna use, what color should we use to highlight under the brow? Now, usually I would do probably like a, um, what do you call it? Like a matte color, but I'm not against not being a matte color. Um, we could do optimistic, we could do exhilarated. Hell, we could do no, that's gentle. We could even do this one. Or I was going to pick to do this top one right here. That is a, uh, what are you called? I can't think of what that's called. Oh, pessimistic. And it's just like a, um, like a oyster gray satin. And it's just going to highlight. That's all we're need. So should I do a matte highlight or a shimmer highlight under the brow? That's all I need to know. Matte or shimmer highlight under the brow. That right there, I love that. And I think I'm gonna add that to my under eye under there. Should we do eyeliner, you guys? Should we do eyeliner? I'm trying to let y'all <laughs> pick. Shimmer, Courtney says shimmer. And do we wanna do eyeliner? I have blue eyeliner, I have, I think that's black right there, and then I have the brown prominent. Do we wanna do eyeliner or no? Okay, because y'all know I can murder some eyeliner. Hey, Becky. 
Okay, so let's do a shimmer under there since Courtney said shimmer. And let's do... Let's do... Um, we're going to do exhilarated. And we're going to do exhilarated because it's more of a champagne shimmer. And since I have like the gentle, the bright shimmer right here, I think if we do like the champagne, it's a little bit, you know, light, darker, just a little bit. I think it'll look a little bit better right through there, okay? So I'm gonna take this brush right here, and here we go. There is that champagne shimmer. It's very similar to Optimistic right here, but it's very different, okay? Optimistic is very, very white, and this is very like champagne-y, okay? So we're gonna use that one. That is called Exhilarated, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna dip in there. And I am just going to pretty much just tap under there, okay? Just like so, that looks good though. That looks really good. Usually I do not do shimmer under the eye just because I used to, but then I, I changed. Hey Jessica, what's up girl? Hey Latifah. How is that baby? Okay, let's do this side. I'm liking that though. I may have like, I may start doing like shimmer under the eye all the time or under the brow all the time now. Cause I stopped for a while just because it was a personal preference. But now I'm like, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's that champagne shimmer and exhilarated highlighted under that brow, okay? Do we want to do eyeliner? Do we want to do eyeliner? Do we want to risk it? Do we want to risk the eyeliner, actually? I wanted to do one more thing. Should we do eyeliner, y'all? And if we should, what color? I got the bright, bright blue. I've got like prominent, which is like a bronzy brown. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love, y'all. Thank you. In need of you doing my makeup. Jessica, girl, where are you from, Jessica? Where do you live? Y'all, I know I probably used to live um, pretty close to most of you, but I probably don't anymore. <laughs> Just because we have moved kind of, you know, somewhat recently. Well, I guess like last month we moved. Okay. So there's that. So y'all, I'm gonna take this color that I was telling you about, this one right here. Just look how gorgeous it is, okay? Look at that. Hold on, let me back it up, back it up, back it up. Just see how pretty that is? I wanna use it. It's so pretty, I wanna use it. So I'm going to, I'm going to. Ain't going, nobody gotta tell me I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna um, pick up this little thing right here. So just this little sponge brush which really ain't good for nothing, y'all. I don't ever use it. Hey, Paige, what's up, girlfriend? I missed you. Okay, so I'm gonna dip in, I think, manipulative. It's called manipula manipulative, okay? Hey, Faith, what's up, girl? All right, so I'm gonna dip in that manipulative. Okay, there it is. See that? Oh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Let me show my YouTubers. Okay. And so, I'm just going to, like, add it to the bottom under here, y'all. Just going to, like, add it to the bottom. And do we need to do eyeliner? Y'all, I need to know if y'all want me to do eyeliner. Y'all know I suck at it. And y'all know I can murder it. But if y'all want to see me do some eyeliner, we can do it. Hey, Kim. The fanatical, or I keep saying fanatical. What is fanatical? I don't even have fanatical, and I keep calling it fanatical. But it's manipulative. <laughs> it is super pretty. Super, super pretty. Ashley, yes, Courtney, yes, girl. Okay, let me add a little bit, Moa. Do we need to do eyeliner? I can probably bring y'all in. I forget I can bring y'all in. So just adding it. Just like so. And then I'm going to do the other side. 
Hey, I bet we could add some of that green. I bet we could add some of that green, y'all. Okay, what color eyeliner should we do? Probably black or brown, huh? Let me get this side on here, y'all, and then I'll come back where y'all can see me. Actually, let me just pull this mirror over here. Then y'all can see me. Y'all, remember, if you want to see how I did my brows and you want to see how I got my foundation the way I did, I will have my YouTube video up, video up in here in a little bit. Black. Okay, we're going to do black eyeliner. Hey, Savannah. What's up, girl? How is the... I know you're like overseas. I know you're overseas right now. How is that? Are you having fun? I've seen your pictures and I know that you're having fun. But I just want to hear it from you. We're going to do black eyeliner. Y'all, and I got a new one in. I got my new dip and draw in. Y'all know. Well, you might not know. You ever do makeup for a wedding? Well, I could if you were close to me. Where do you live, Jessica? About to go to sleep. Oh, yeah, I bet you are in different time zones. But you're having fun, though, right, Savannah? Oh, you're at the Philippines. That's where you're at, the Philippines. Hi, Kyla. Hey, Isabel. Isabel? Yep, Isabel. Okay, so there's manipulative on that bottom lash line. And then we are about to do some eyeliner, okay? Now, when we do this eyeliner, y'all, it's 8 a.m. <gasps> Jessica is from Pecola but moved to Illinois. We are, you know what? All of us Pecola people are moving. I'm from Pecola and I moved. Um, yeah, so I don't know that I could do, like, makeup wedding in Illinois, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Oh, you're coming back to Oklahoma. Well, when is your wedding? When is your wedding? Right now, I live in Harrison, Arkansas, which is, like, you know, two hours, well, two and a half hours from Pecola, but, um, we go there all we go i'll have to go back to pecola on wednesday actually because our uncle buddy well well yeah our uncle buddy died yesterday so we'll have to like go to his funeral and stuff so that sucks but we'll be coming to pecola very very soon thank you kyla october okay so we still what are your colors jessica what are your wedding colors And what color makeup do you think you would like to have? Like, that just makes me excited. <laughs> you need me. Girl, let's talk then. We can talk. Uh, for real, we can talk. Send me a message. We can talk about this whole wedding thing. I'm for real. Um, I'm, I'm totally down. Totally down. Okay, let's do eyeliner. Now, you guys... This is not my strong point. This is my weak point, okay? But let's do this dip and draw. You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Whitney Dix. Um, I am a unique presenter. Coral and tan, but I have no idea. I suck at makeup. Don't say you suck at makeup. Don't say that. Hold on, let me swap away these messages. Okay, you guys, dip and draw eyeliner. We're gonna do black. Black is actually called perfect, okay? And this is the dip and draw. Um, there's like a little ball or something in there, so you wanna make sure and shake that baby up. Nudes and smoky pumpkin. Ooh, that would be pretty. That would be really pretty. That'd be really pretty. I'm like totally the un, like, I'm not creative, <laughs> y'all. I'm not creative at all, but I try to be. I try to be. Coral and tan. 
Nudes in a smoky pumpkin. I just love that. I, I, that just sounds so pretty. I don't know, in like fall, and it reminds me of like lattes and like just warm. I don't, well, it's not warm in the fall, but I don't know, like hot chocolate is warm though. Anyway, y'all. Okay, let's open this dip and draw up. <laughs> y'all are getting me too excited about makeup, weddings, and Halloween, and nude pumpkins, okay? Here we go. Let's do this. Dip and draw. Okay, so this is what it looks like, y'all. Now, this is going, if you are into your wings, which I am, I'm into wings, but I'm not good at it. Okay, here it is. That's how sharp that point is. So, you're so bare. What are you bare at, girl? I don't remember. I don't remember, okay? I get, I start talking and I lose my train of thought. Y'all are gonna realize that about me quick. I lose my train of thought, okay? <laughs> so here we go, dip and draw. Now I can murder some eyeliner, so let's hope, let's hope, you guys, that we can get this. Let's hope we can get it good. Ooh, that lighting, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna do a baby. I'm gonna do a baby wing so we don't murder it, okay? We all know, well, we probably don't all know, but, um, Eyeshadow, when I first started Unique, was my downfall. And so so was um, eyeliner, but I've gotten a lot better at my eyeshadow, as you can tell. Um, everything. <laughs> Jessica, send me a message, girlfriend. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll send you a message. We'll talk. We will talk, girl. Okay, so here we go. When I start mine, what I used to do is I would start here and draw up. I realized quick, well, no, it wasn't quick. It took me a while to realize that I didn't need to go up with it. I needed to go down with it, okay? I don't know why, but just watch, okay? And I'm gonna do baby wing, because like I said, I don't wanna do it too crazy, because I get out of control. All right, so here we go. Boom, okay, so we got our first line. We got our first line. And I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna talk y'all, I'm not gonna talk because if I talk, it ain't gonna be good. Okay, we got a little something going. It ain't looking too bad. It ain't look. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Haley. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. I think we did it pretty good, y'all. Okay. As long as I don't keep jacking with it. Now, you'll see me go after it a couple times, and I just don't need to do that. Hey, Haley! Y'all, when y'all hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Oopsie. And please give me a share. Um, just the more shares we get, the more ladies that we get hop on. Um, and once you have shared, go ahead and drop a fire emoji because you guys are fire. You guys are fire. Okay. Okay, I fixed that little line just a little bit. All right, a lot of bit, okay? A lot of bit. It's okay. There we go. We're going to stop now, though. We're going to stop now. And that, y'all, that's a pretty dang good wing for me, okay? We all know the struggle is real when we do our wings. And I'm just gonna let that dry. Now, let me tell you something about this dip and draw, y'all. It is water resistant. It ain't gonna go nowhere, okay? I had the blue like swatched on my hand forever because I, I took a shower with it and everything. I mean, I honestly, I didn't scrub it off. But like if it was to rain or something, it ain't going nowhere. And I just wanna show y'all how 
gorgeous this blue is, okay? I want to use this blue every day, but that's like impossible. I mean, I guess I could if I wanted, but look at that blue eyeliner, okay? I don't think it gets any bluer than that in eyeliner. I've never seen anything bluer than that, but I love it. And that makes your eyes pop big time, okay? So I'm going to take my mirror around here so we can do this eye. Okay? And then we'll be almost done, y'all. We'll be almost done. Now, remember, y'all, um, if you want to see me do my, want to see how I did my brows um, and how I got my coverage and also the techniques that I used to get this coverage because you're not going to get this coverage just, you know, just any old way. I promise you that. Okay, you want to make sure that you're stifling your brush. Um, because if you're not stifling your brush, it really um, seems like the makeup just does not, like, I don't know. It doesn't give you the coverage that you need if you're, like, doing this whole thing with it. You really want to stifle. But that's in my other video, you guys. It's on. It, I will um, post it on my Facebook, but it will be on my YouTube, okay? All right, so let's do this other eye really quick. See if we can get it even though. Okay. Okay, so there it is. There's the line. That's like probably the hardest part. And it's a little crooked, but uh whoop, stop it. It's okay. There we go. Okay, so I've got it that far so far, okay? Hey, Brenda, what's up, girl? Hey, Janelle. All right, y'all, let me finish this inside over here. So we can move on and we'll do our lashes. And, um, after I do my lashes, we're done. We are done, y'all. And then, I will get my foundation video up. On YouTube. Okay, let me bring it to the side now. Because I got to be able to like match it. Does anybody know anyone that is like the master of eyeliner? Does anyone know anyone that is like the master of eyeliner? Because I need to meet this person and we need to talk, <laughs> okay? Because your girl needs some tips. Not looking too bad though. It's not looking too bad. Do y'all have any questions about anything at all? Where do you get your hair done? Uh, I got my hair done at Studio Platinum in Fort Smith. And um, her name is Taylor who did it. Now, I did used to go to Jeanette though, Brenda. I 
I don't know if Jeanette's still doing hair now, though, that she's got her, like, a uh, little... What does she call it? Insurance shop, I guess. I, but she might still be doing hair. I don't know. But yeah, Jeanette used to do my hair. But the last time I got it done, um, Taylor at Studio Platinum did it in Fort Smith. Hey, Ashley. Okay, you guys. I think I'm almost ready to do my lashes. I'm going to fix this one little spot over here just because it needs to be a little bit fatter. Okay, we gonna call that good. We're gonna call that good, y'all. Okay? That side still ain't matching. Hold on. It's like I'm too scared to go up high with it because I'm like, if I do, it's going to be too much. Is Jeanette still open, Brenda? Like, is she still doing hair? Since she has her uh, insurance thing? Okay, we're going to call that good, y'all. We're calling that good, okay? All right, so let's do our... Let's do our lashes. Hey, Shelby. Let's do our lashes, y'all. Okay, and so I'm going to comb these bad boys out. Now, by the way, if you don't want to jack with dip and draw eyeliner, y'all, this black pencil eyeliner right here, I can do a pretty dang good wing with it, okay? Just saying, okay? So, if you're easier, if you do, if you work better with pencil eyeliner, I use this as well to make wings, okay? Just make sure it's sharpened and pointed. pointed. And, like, if you're first starting out, I would use, like, a pencil. Because you really, 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 really have to practice with the dip and draw. Unless, you guys, unless you are already just, like, a master at dip and draw. And everything like that. Then, go ahead and get it. Because it's awesome. Okay, but like me, like I still have to practice with it, y'all. I have my good days and I have my bad days. But honestly, I've been using my pencil for so long. Because uh, I had to get a new dip and draw. Okay, so I'm just combing my lashes out. And then we're going to do some epic and we're going to do some fibers. Hey, Destiny! What's up, girl? Okay. So, Epic Mascara, y'all all know that's the MVP of Unique, okay? That's the MVP of Unique. I have a few, several different of, of my favorites. Epic Mascara is definitely the MVP, though, okay? All right, let me fix this nose ring. All right, and let's do these lashes. Hey, Ashley, much, much more. Ashley, no, that's my, that's my girl. That's my girl, Ashley. Okay. Hey, Dustin. Did y'all, oh, did y'all go to Tulsa Destiny to the aquarium? Y'all, what time is it? Does anybody know what time it is? All right, I'm going to take my fibers out, okay? Now, when you get your fibers, you guys, usually it comes, well, it will always come with the transplant gel, okay? Hold on. Got something in my eye. Okay. I personally think that if you just put your fibers with your Epic Mascara, it works bomb, okay? So, that's what I do. I just pair it with my um, with my Epic, and that's what I'm going to do. So, here we go. Take your fibers out, okay? Make sure you've got them on there, just like that. Dallas! Oh, my gosh, Dallas. I don't know why I was thinking Tulsa, but I'm just going to roll those fibers on the back of my hand, okay? 716. Thank you, Ashley. We're almost done. We're almost done. 
Okay, so y'all, when I first do this, I am gonna do my outside lashes first, okay? Let's do it. Okay, so just coat those outside lashes as good as you can, top and bottom. Just like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your fibers, hi Christy, and we're just gonna roll them up. Okay, and as you're going up the eye, try to twirl the wand up, okay? And you want to really just try to just do it one time, okay? Because what happens is if you're, I do it, I'm guilty of doing it, but if you really um, take the wand and kind of keep going at those uh, fibers because you think there's not enough on there, what you're actually doing is pulling those fibers out because they haven't had enough time to set to either the Epic Mascara or the Transplanting Gel. There's just not enough time for it to set. So you wanna make sure that you guys, you have enough fibers on your um, comb to where you can just do one swift um, go through, okay? And let those dry. And here's another reason why I only do the outsides first. I'm about to come over here and do the inside lashes. But I, I do the outsides first because you gotta you gotta have enough time, you guys, to get those fibers on all of that eye before that either your transplanting gel or your epic dries, okay? And I have just I've just trial and error, honestly. I've just realized that if I just do the outside first and then the inside, it works so much better, okay? So let's do the insides over here, the inside lashes. And you're just gonna coat them super good. Okay, take your fibers and just twirl them up. I'm doing it twice, but. Okay, just like that. Now, of course you do have to set those fibers. You do have to set them, but I'm not gonna set them yet. I'll tell you why. Because it's the same thing. If, I'm go, if I go ahead and just set them, they don't have time to dry and adhere to either your Epic Mascara or your uh, transplanting gel. And if they're, they're not adhered, you're just pulling them right out. And if you're just pulling them right out, you're gonna get pissed off. <laughs> okay, let's just be real. You're gonna get mad. You're gonna get mad and you're gonna tell yourself this is not working. Don't like it, okay? Don't do that. So don't, don't do that. Don't make that mistake. Hey, Brittany. So, you guys, while we're letting this eye dry, go to this eye, okay? So let's go ahead and go to this eye. Let me dip this back in my fibers though. I wanna make sure there's enough fibers there, okay? There we go. Now you can roll it on the back of your hand. I'm not going to this time. And we're just gonna work the outside lashes first, okay? Coat them up really, really good. Okay, just like so. Take your fibers and just circle, or how, I don't know how to explain. Like, twist the wand as you're going up the eyelash, okay? Twist the wand as you're going up the eyelash. And then let's do the inside. And then take your fibers. Okay. And there's that. Brittany. <laughs> okay. So, you guys, if you want to do like another coat of the fibers, go ahead, girls. Go ahead. Here, let me do my bottom lashes real quick though. I'm not gonna put fibers on my bottom lashes. Strictly epic because they are so long already, okay? And I don't need little caterpillars on my, under my eyeball, I guess you wanna call it. Some little caterpillars. 
Hold on, y'all. I gotta get comfortable. I gotta like move every, don't you fall off of there. I've got my other camera like rigged up here, but I don't think it'll fall. Y'all, this coverage looks good. I'm just saying. Okay, let's do this other bottom lash while we're letting those fibers adhere. There we go. I'm cracking you up. Girl, I'm just telling the truth. I'm just speaking the truth. You know, I, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I don't know what to say. I just want to make y'all laugh and show y'all some beauty tips. Okay. There we go. I think that these are probably adhered good enough. So, here we go. Take our Epic and we're going to, hey, Maria. We're going to coat these fibers and we're going to seal them so they're not falling off in our eyeballs. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so let's do the other eye. I don't know why. Do y'all have like an eye that loves to give you problems? Because this is it. Okay? This right here is the shitster. Okay? Look, you got this going on up here. You got the wing looking all stupid. This is raw. This is raw footage. Oh, that was that was just fibers. Okay. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and set the these fibers. Boom, just like that. Where you get the fibers? You get the fibers from me, uh, Brenda. The 3D fibers, the 3D, the 3D fibers, you get them from me, Brenda. Don't you know that, girl? I thought I taught you better. You know that. Okay, guys. Are we doing this color? Was we doing this color spontaneous, I think? Yeah, that's spontaneous. I haven't used this color yet, y'all. It's like a, it's like a purpley berry kind of like. Was that the color we were doing? I think that's what somebody had said earlier. But. Yeah, Brenda, if the fibers are 29 bucks, okay? Now, with that being said, if you want to get the fibers for 29 bucks, you can like get the kit for $99, which has the fibers in it, the Epic in it. I, I'm just saying, there's a lot that comes in it for $99 versus, you know, get a couple of little things. You know what I mean? Love you too, Brenda. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I don't have a like purple lip liner yet, but I got this prim liner and it's like a brown, but I think it will look pretty. I think it'll look pretty, and I'll just put that purple all, all over it. Who cares? Okay, so this is Prim Liner. And let me tell you a little story about the Prim Liner, okay? When I first started Unique, y'all, this girl was using Prim Liner on her lips, and I'm like, okay, I need that color because she was matching it with this right here, uh, this Raspberry Cheesecake Lip Bonbon, okay? So, and they look awesome together. This is just a tinted chapstick, but the light pink with it, it just uh, it just sets it off. It's like a, it's a nude light pink lip, but it's really, really pretty. That's the only nude lip that I like, okay? And so, I'm going to like order it, and I could not find, and to be honest with you, I'm not the type of person to like go and ask someone if I can't find it. Y'all know that about me. Or if you know me well, you know I'm not the type of person to just ask anybody, okay? So I'm like, I could not find the prim liner on the lip liners anywhere. And I was just like, is this like a different, like is she confused at the name of it or what is going on? But you know what it was, y'all? It's an eyeliner. 
Prim liner is an eyeliner, okay? So it was under eyeliners, but the thing about it is, is you can, our, our eyeliners, our lip liners, you can use them either or, okay? They're both smudge proof, so you can use them either or, okay? So there's a story about that. If you need the prim liner, it is an eyeliner. It's not a lip liner, but you can use it for both, okay? But if you wanted to buy it, it'll be under eyeliners. Yes, eyeliners. All right, so I'm gonna line. Okay, and this is just like a nice chocolate brown. And a lot of girls also use the prim liner for their brows, okay? I personally don't use it for my brow. I haven't tried it yet. I might one day. But I personally like my brow palette or my brow liner. Those work well for me, so. Okay, so I do overline my lips. Y'all know that. I can't get lip injections. So, overlining is what we do, right? And if you overline your lips, the only spots that you want to overline is right there in the, in the middle, the cupid's bow, I guess, like right here. Uh-oh. Knock that off. Okay. Like that. And then right here in the bottom, okay? So those are the only two spots you're going to overline. Down here and right through here. Now up through here. Some people do overline there, um, and you can if you like that. I personally just don't like the way that looks. So I will, when I come up this way, I'm going to, you know, draw on my regular lip. I only overline up here and right down here, okay? And you guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. And, sorry, I had a, I had a message pop up. Um, and go ahead and give me a share if you want to. Just the more shares we get, the more ladies that we get hop on, okay? And once you have shared, please uh, drop a fire emoji because you ladies are fire. You want the cheesecake lip bond? You want this one, Brenda? This is the raspberry cheesecake. Um, it is super light. It's, it's, I love, this is my favorite one. I mean, we have like five other ones but that's my favorite. Hey, Valerie. Okay, just like that. And I might just a little bit. Fill that in just a little bit, and I'll tell you why I fill that in. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much for sharing. You guys, you don't understand how much that means to me. It means a lot. Um, seriously, it does. Okay. All you girls that, um, the, the ones that I do know, the ones that I don't know, the ones that stay and watch from, like, beginning to end, you guys, I love you guys. Like, y'all are, y'all are awesome, okay? Um. Y'all are awesome. Okay, so here we go. I've got the prim liner on, and I put it all over my lip just a little bit, and I tell you I did that. I did that because it would be better if I had more of a purple color, but I don't have a purple yet. But I did that because essentially, let's say I'm going out to eat or whatever. Um, the liquid lipsticks are awesome. They stay on really good, but if you go to eat, of course, they're going to come off some, Okay. And how many of you have been out to eat and you have a lipstick on and then when you um, are done eating, you like look in a mirror and it's like you have a lip liner on because, you know, when you eat, it goes away, but you still have lined around your lips. How many of, of, how, how many of that, how many of you has that happened to? Sorry, I could not say that. Hey, Christina. 
All right, so let's put this bad boy on, okay? This is spontaneous, y'all, and it's like that purple. I like it a lot. Okay, so here we go. Another thing, y'all, you want to wipe, wipe off, okay? Because a little bit goes a long way, for real. Courtney, it's happened to you. Uh-oh. Look at that. Okay, and so, okay, so since that's happened to you guys, hi, Emily, I can't remember if I said hi to you or not, girl. Um, if you put your liner over the rest of your lips, y'all, well, it's gonna have to be like a smudge-proof liner, okay? It can't just be like a liner that comes off super easy or it won't work. Um, just make sure it's like a smudge-proof, waterproof liner. Um, and if you put that all over your lip, that's going to help with that, like, that look of, like, red around your lip because you've ate and you only got lip liner on. You know what I'm saying? That's going to help with that. You're going to have a little bit of that color left under there so it's not so in your face. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all, that's happened to me so many times. I think my husband's home. I can like hear him walking around. Okay, who's liking that color though? Okay, that's spontaneous. Okay, that's that purple color. Let me take that prim again if we need to like Kind of just like do up the edges. Go ahead. Just like that. That looks good. I love that. Okay. I love the purple. Usually I'm not like a big purple fan. But I like that. I really like that. So I need to add some color to my Cupid's bow and I'm gonna use gentle, I think. I'm gonna use that gentle color. No, I'll do optimistic. Optimistic's that more of that one right there, the more whiter. And I'm gonna use that for my Cupid's bow, just because it's a lot brighter, okay? Let's see. I'll just use this brush right here. This is the deluxe brush. I'm just gonna dip it in that and just set it right there. Okay? Just like that, okay? Do y'all have any questions about anything at all? I'm pretty much done, y'all. We're done. Let me back y'all out. Do y'all have any questions at all? Like I said, I will have my brow and my, um foundation video up on my YouTube. I'll post it once I get it up. It'll take me a little bit just because I have to like edit it a little bit and then um and uh upload it. It takes me a minute to upload it. So once I get that done I will post that for y'all guys if y'all want to watch that okay. Um but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here. Um thank you guys that um have stayed on and watched thank you guys for sharing I love you guys so so much y'all are awesome 
Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I will be uh, live tomorrow, okay? So if there's any kind of like live y'all wanna, or any kind of like inspired look y'all wanna see, send me a picture of it, okay? Send me a picture, I wanna know, okay? I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Love y'all. Thanks, Brenda. Bye.